cis black women, Paige reminds me a lot of you. Like, you say you're not really about me. And she knows, and she knows how her privilege has gotten her to that point. And also, like, she's good at basketball, obviously. But, like, she understands her privilege. It's yeah. like, pushes her over the top, in a sense. It reminds me a lot of you. Have you heard about Nike striking gold with Caitlin Clark? Yeah, that eight-year, $28 million endorsement deal they locked her into is legendary. But here's the kicker. Why is Nike treating her like she's invisible? You've got to be asking the same question, right? Let's break this down because it's wild. In one corner, we have Asia Wilson, the three-time WNBA MVP who has been the league's queen bee for years. And in the other, we have Caitlin Clark, the sensation who's been living rent-free in Wilson's head lately. The real question is, why is Wilson fuming? And how did Clark's net worth explode past hers in just a single year? Buckle up, because by the end of this, you'll see that this isn't just about the money. It's about changing the game for good. Wilson recently said something that caught everyone's attention. She went on social media and stated, No one is jealous, Bookie. I have no reason to be. I truly wish all 143 players the best. Wilson came out and actually made a statement. No one is jealous, Bookie. I have no reason to be. I truly wish all 143 the best. For real, our league is so hard as hell. So to thrive and to stay in it consistently is huge. So please stop with this jealousy stuff. Now that might sound like she's cool with what's happening, but trust me, the frustration is real. Wilson is seeing Clark steal the spotlight and, let's be honest, those massive endorsement deals too. Clark's been making waves in women's basketball like no one before her, and she's raking in money like she has a magnet for it. Meanwhile, Wilson's sitting back watching her star power fade a little more each day. Imagine being in her shoes, once the face of the league, and now overshadowed by a rookie. I mean, ouch, right? And it's not just about getting left out of the spotlight. Let's talk about the numbers. Clark's net worth has skyrocketed and it's jaw dropping. You'd think Wilson, with all her achievements, would be sitting comfortably at the top, right? Wrong. Clark is pulling in so much from endorsements that Wilson's own deals, while impressive, are starting to feel like small change in comparison. We're talking Nike, Gatorade, State Farm, and more, all knocking on Clark's door, eager to sign her up. It's no wonder Wilson's probably sitting there, losing sleep over how fast things are changing. Here's the thing, though. This isn't just about Wilson versus Clark. This is about the future of women's basketball as a whole. Clark's rise is shaking up the entire WNBA, and it's forcing everyone to rethink how they operate. It's not just the players who are feeling the heat, it's the league itself. Fans are pouring in to see Clark play, and TV ratings are going through the roof whenever she's on the court. It's like she's single-handedly breathing new life into the WNBA, and everyone else is just trying to keep up. So, how did Caitlin Clark go from a college phenom to a WNBA superstar in what feels like the blink of an eye? It's not just talent, though she's got plenty of that. It's her marketability, her presence, her ability to connect with fans in a way that very few athletes can. She's the type of player who draws people in, and once they're hooked, they can't get enough. And the endorsements? They're just a reflection of how much value she brings to the table. Nike saw it early on, and now everyone else is catching up. Clark's become the face of women's basketball, and honestly, she's just getting started. And this has to sting for Wilson. I mean, she's been at the top for so long, but it seems like the WNBA and its fans are ready to crown a new queen. It's not that Wilson isn't talented. She absolutely is. But Clark is a whole different level of star power. She's breaking records, making history, and bringing in more fans than the league has seen in years. And with that kind of momentum, it's hard to see anyone stopping her anytime soon. Wilson, for all her accomplishments, is watching as a rookie surpasses her in every way that matters. On the court, off the court, and in the bank. And let's not sugarcoat it. That's got to hurt. It's one thing to be outplayed, but to be outmarketed? That's a different kind of blow altogether. Wilson's worked hard for everything she's achieved, but Clark is playing a different game and she's winning in a way that's making everyone else look slow. And it's not just the money that's making Wilson green with envy. Let's talk about the fan base. Clark's ability to draw fans to the games is next level. When she stepped onto the court for her WNBA debut, 
the Indiana Fever saw a 121% increase in ticket sales. That's insane! It's not just a little bump, it's a full-on explosion! And TV ratings? Through the roof! Her playoff semifinal game against the Connecticut Sun drew over 3 million viewers. Meanwhile, Wilson's semifinal game barely scratched a million. That's a huge difference, and it's one that's being felt across the league. Clark's not just changing the game, she's changing how people see the WNBA. Suddenly, it's not just a league that's struggling for attention, it's primetime entertainment. And with Clark at the helm, things are only going to get bigger. But where does that leave Wilson? Well, she's left watching from the sidelines as Clark becomes the face of women's basketball. It's like the torch has been passed, and Wilson didn't even realize it was happening until it was already gone. The funny thing is, this attention isn't just good for Clark, it's good for the entire league. Suddenly, sponsors are paying attention. TV networks are fighting over broadcast rights. And fans? They're showing up in droves, eager to see what all the hype is about. Clark's presence has flipped a switch, and now the whole league is lit up in ways it hasn't been in years. It's like she has the Midas touch, and everything she touches turns to gold. And Wilson, she's watching it all unfold, probably wondering where her fans went. The top-selling WNBA player merchandise? Caitlin Clark is number one, and it's not just her jersey flying off the shelves, it's everything with her name on it. From sneakers to signed memorabilia, Clark's name is everywhere and people can't get enough. Wilson, meanwhile, has been left in the dust, trying to figure out how she went from being the face of the league to just another player in the background. But here's where it gets really wild. This isn't just about Clark versus Wilson. This is about a fundamental shift in women's basketball. Clark has shown that there's a massive audience for this sport as long as it's played at a high level and marketed the right way. Fans are hungry for it, and Clark is giving them exactly what they want. She's not just a player, she's a movement, and that's something the WNBA desperately needs if it wants to survive and thrive in the years to come. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Clark's rise is a wake-up call for the WNBA. For too long, the league has been coasting, relying on the NBA to prop it up and keep it afloat. But with Clark's star power, the WNBA has a chance to stand on its own two feet. Fans are showing up, TV ratings are up, and sponsors are finally paying attention. But for this momentum to continue, the league needs to step up its game. Better player safety, better officiating, better marketing. It all needs to improve if the WNBA wants to capitalize on this moment. And let's be real, Clark's just getting started. It's only her first year, and she's already taken the league by storm. Can you imagine what's going to happen when she hits her prime? When she starts hitting game winners on national TV and solidifies herself as one of the best players in the game? Her value is only going to go up from here, and the WNBA better be ready to ride that wave. Remember, we talked about how Nike signed her to that massive eight-year, $28 million endorsement deal? Well, that's just the beginning. Brands are lining up to work with her, and honestly, who can blame them? She's a marketing dream. But the crazy part? It's not just basketball companies like Nike or sports drinks like Gatorade. No, Clark's appeal goes way beyond that. She's in commercials, magazines, even featured in campaigns for lifestyle brands. And guess what? Every one of those deals just keeps pushing her net worth higher and higher. Now, imagine being a veteran player in the WNBA, someone like Asia Wilson, who's put years into the league, grinding it out, becoming one of the best players in the game. And then along comes Clark, fresh out of college, pulling in more money, more attention, and more endorsements in her first year than Wilson's seen in her entire career. That's got a sting, right? But this isn't just about money. This is about visibility. Clark's bringing eyes to the league that weren't there before. Suddenly, people who never cared about the WNBA are tuning in to watch her play. And when they tune in, they're not just watching Clark, they're watching everyone else too. Players like Wilson, who have been carrying the league for years, are finally getting the recognition they deserve. But, and this is a big but, that recognition is only happening because Clark is in the picture. And let's talk about how that plays out on the court. When Clark steps onto the court, the atmosphere changes. The fans are louder, 
the cameras are focused, and even the players know they're in for a battle. Her presence elevates the competition. Teams that might have taken a night off are suddenly playing their best because they know they're going up against someone who's not just there to win, she's there to dominate. And for Wilson, that's gotta be a tough pill to swallow. She's been the one everyone fears for years, and now she's watching as Clark takes over that role. And it's not just in the regular season either. Clark made waves during the playoffs, when the Indiana Fever, Clark's team, faced off against the Connecticut Sun in the semifinals, the entire country was watching. That game drew over 3 million viewers, a record for the WNBA playoffs. Wilson, who also made it to the semifinals with her team, barely drew a third of that audience. And the attendance? Same story. When Clark plays, the stands are packed. When she's not, well, let's just say there are a lot more empty seats. But here's the thing. Clark's success is good for the league. Sure, Wilson might be feeling overshadowed, but the truth is, Clark's rise is lifting everyone up. More fans mean more money, more endorsements, and more attention for the entire WNBA. And as much as Wilson might hate seeing Clark steal the spotlight, she's benefiting from it too. The league has been desperate for a star that can bring in casual fans, and now they have one. Clark isn't just a basketball player, she's a movement. She's bringing in new fans, inspiring young girls to pick up a basketball, and showing the world that women's basketball isn't just an afterthought. And that's something the WNBA has needed for a long time. But here's where it gets tricky. The WNBA is still playing catch up. For years, the league has been struggling to stay afloat, relying on the NBA to subsidize its losses. In 2024 alone, the WNBA lost an estimated $50 million, despite record-setting attendance and viewership, thanks to Clark. Now, with Clark's star power, they have a real opportunity to turn things around. But to do that, they need to start making some serious changes. The first thing they need to address is player safety. Clark has already taken a few hard hits on the court, and fans have been vocal about the lack of protection for players. The WNBA can't afford to let its star player get injured, especially not when she's bringing in so much attention. They need to tighten up officiating, make sure games are called fairly, and most importantly, protect their players. Then there's the marketing. For too long, the WNBA has been playing second fiddle to the NBA. But now, with Clark leading the charge, they have a chance to step out of the NBA's shadow and stand on their own. That means better advertising, more coverage, and making sure games are accessible to as many people as possible. Clark is a superstar, but the league needs to make sure everyone knows it. And then, of course, there's the issue of player compensation. We've already talked about how Clark is raking in millions from endorsements, but her actual WNBA salary? It's a mere $76,000. Compare that to NBA players, and it's a joke. If the WNBA wants to keep its stars in the league, they need to start paying them what they're worth. Otherwise, players like Clark are going to look elsewhere, whether that's overseas leagues or even other sports. But let's be real, Clark isn't going anywhere anytime soon. She's just getting started. And with each passing game, each record she breaks, she's solidifying herself as not just the face of women's basketball, but as one of the biggest stars in sports, period. And that's something even Asia Wilson has to respect. So, where does this leave us? Caitlin Clark is changing the game, and everyone, including Asia Wilson, needs to figure out how to adapt. The WNBA has a golden opportunity here to ride Clark's wave of success and turn the league into something truly special. But they need to act fast. The fans are showing up, the sponsors are paying attention, and the whole world is watching. It's time for the WNBA to step up and make sure they don't miss this moment. Stay tuned for more analysis and don't forget to hit that like button.